Hi everyone, my name is Don Farber with Vineyard Soft Corporation, and I'd like to welcome you to this first training session on the Knowledge Sync Alerts and Workflow System. This training session will walk you through the download and installation of the Knowledge Sync application. Now, the first step is to open a web browser and go to the Vineyard Soft website. You can see that website located in the top left of my current window. Now, you may download Knowledge Sync from the Vineyard Soft website. You may also download the Sage Alerts and Workflow system from the Alerts and Workflow website. It's important to note that Knowledge Sync and Sage Alerts and Workflow are the same application, 100% identical in functionality. The only difference is the name that appears at the top of the application. I'm going to go back to the Knowledge Sync page, and I'm going to go down and click on the Downloads option. Now this brings us to the following form, and down towards the lower right-hand section of it, I can click on the Download button. From here, you can fill in this form to specify whom you are, your location, the business partner whom you're working with, etc., and then choose one of the download options listed in the scrolling box. Note that for all of these different operating systems, there is just a single Knowledge Sync installation file. We request this piece of information just so that we may know what operating system you're currently using. Now, after filling out and submitting this form, you will receive an email back from Knowledge Sync telling you where you can go to download the actual software. I have that as a bookmark in my web browser, so I'm going to go to the Knowledge Sync Downloads page. Okay, a couple of things I'd like to point out on this page. Up at the very top, you can see a link to download the current version of Knowledge Sync. As of this presentation, the current version is V8.3. We are about to release version 9.0 with a very exciting new module called Alert Acknowledgements, but uh, let's not talk about that quite yet. Now, while you're on this page, you will download the Knowledge Sync application itself. We also recommend that you download the Knowledge Sync manual. You can see that link a little bit further along on this web page. And thirdly, and just as important as those two are Knowledge Sync event packs. Event packs are pre configured collections of Knowledge Sync alert and workflow events for different applications. For example, if you happen to be using a software solution from Sage software, such as Sage 100, Sage 300, Sage 500, uh, or other applications, perhaps from exact software, you will see event packs for all of those applications. Feel free to download as many of these event packs as you want. They are all free. And if you don't see a particular event pack that you're interested in, perhaps you're using an application that we have yet to build an event pack for, that doesn't mean that Knowledge Sync won't integrate with it. It certainly will. Uh, it just means that we don't already have a pre-configured collection of events for that application. Well, we'd certainly like to, so do let us know what applications you wish to use Knowledge Sync with and we'll do our best to build an event pack for you. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this window right now, and let's assume that we have downloaded the Knowledge Sync manual, the event packs, as well as the Knowledge Sync application itself. Let me shrink this window, and I'm gonna start off by actually opening up the Knowledge Sync manual itself. This is a PDF document that, again, you will have downloaded from the website we were just at. And the reason I'm bringing you to the manual next is so that you can see what kind of installation, hardware, and software requirements Knowledge Sync has. So I'm just gonna scroll through this chapter one and touch upon a couple of key points. As you can see on page one are listed the installation requirements. Knowledge Sync runs under any Windows-based operating system. Uh, you can see the various recommended and minimum hardware configurations. Some of the options, some of the items here in the manual I will touch upon. Others I will just uh, skip over and talk about just a few key items. You can see here is the link to download Knowledge Sync, the Vineyard Soft location for downloading. You also notice a note under Download Knowledge Sync. There are two installation files, and we'll get to those in just a minute. One is the installation of the main Knowledge Sync application or program. 
The other is a smaller installation that installs a little component to allow KnowledgeSync to send alerts via instant message. And uh, we will be installing both of those files in just a couple of moments. Continuing to scroll down, you should have in mind what machine you wish to install KnowledgeSync on. KnowledgeSync does not need its own server. You could put it on a machine that has other applications running on it. Uh, about 55-60% uh, of our users do put KnowledgeSync on its own server, but again, it's not required. Now, I do recommend that you have a quick read through this chapter one just to be aware of a few settings and version-specific information that you need to know about. I won't go into the details here because they are in the documentation, but some of the items that you will come across, for example, user account control UACs, we do recommend that you turn off UACs before installing KnowledgeSync. And then we start to talk about some of the installation options that you'll be presented with when you start the actual installation process, as well as the installation of any event packs. But again, let me not get ahead of myself. Let me minimize the documentation. Let me go to my Windows Explorer, where I have, in fact, downloaded the Knowledge Sync uh, application. It comes in a zip file, and that zip file does consist of two components within it. One is a file called KS Setup, that is the actual Knowledge Sync program itself. And the other components are the instant message components. You'll notice that there are two instant message components, one called simply IM, one called IM64. Uh, the IM64, as you might guess, is for 64-bit machines, and the IM by itself is for 32-bit machines. So it is important, and the documentation will walk you through this process of running IM64. In my case, I'm on a 64-bit machine first before the main Knowledge Sync installation program. So I'm just going to double click on this and we're going to say yes, we'll let it run. And as you can see, uh, it runs in a very short amount of time, just a couple of seconds and returns you to, in my case, Windows Explorer. That tells me that this component has been successfully installed. At this point, we can now and run, we can now go and run the actual Knowledge Sync setup program. So let's execute that and get it going. Knowledge Inc. uses a standard Windows installer. The installation is password protected. When you chose to download Knowledge Sync and you filled out the form, you would have received an email back with both the location from which you can download Knowledge Sync as well as the installation password. Let me enter my installation password here and hit OK. All right. So let's walk through some of these installation windows. Uh, yes, we will accept the license agreement. Please note that the installation that I'm taking you through right now is applicable both to uh, evaluation copies of Knowledge Sync. You might say, well, I just want to download it and try it out and see if I, I want it, see if it works for me. Uh, or you may have already purchased Knowledge Sync and you may be downloading the application for your production use. Well, regardless of that, you download and install the same application whether for production purposes or for evaluation, you get to download, install, and work with the live shipping software. So let's proceed. And we're just gonna click on next through some typical setup options. Uh, we're going to add our name here, and I'll use my own name and company. And we'll continue with next. And now it specifies, we come to the point of the installation where we're asked, where do we want to install Knowledge Sync? Now, if you're doing a fresh install, obviously you can choose whatever location you wish. We tend to recommend, if you're not decided on a particular location, that you install it in the users folder and within users uh, within the public folder. So you might make a subfolder called Knowledge Sync or Sage Alerts and Workflow or call it whatever you wish. If you are doing an upgrade of Knowledge Sync, and the way that upgrades work is that you install your current version of Knowledge Sync, which removes all the programs and files, but keeps all of your data intact, and then you simply install the latest version in Knowledge Sync in the same location as your previous install. So I am going to hit my Browse button here. We're going to go up a few layers. And uh, we're going to choose our C drive. And we're going to look for users and public. 
And that's where uh, my old installation of KnowledgeSync is. So in my case, I am essentially doing an upgrade. I'm going to choose to install it in that same location. Let's say next, we're going to install all components. Now, a brief note about KnowledgeSync components. Typically, you install KnowledgeSync just on a single machine. You access KnowledgeSync from that machine. All configuration, maintenance, etc., is done from that machine. Now, an optional component of KnowledgeSync is what's referred to as a client component. If you're in a situation where you want to install KnowledgeSync on a specific machine or server, but you want people to be able to access KnowledgeSync and maintain KnowledgeSync from the comfort of their own desktop, laptop, or notebook machines, you do have the ability to install one or more KnowledgeSync clients. Those are licensed by themselves, so you do want to make sure that you have a valid license code to run and install one or more KnowledgeSync clients. But again, most folks who install KnowledgeSync are content with just installing KnowledgeSync and all of its components on a single machine and to have all maintenance and configuration done from that machine. So I'm going to choose to install all components on one machine and we'll say next and next again and let the installation begin. It's a fairly quick installation process. Obviously, it puts down a number of files. Uh, but uh, we'll give this a couple seconds to finish its installation and then proceed with our next steps. Okay, the installation has been successfully completed. Now, I might also wish to download one or more event packs, collections of pre-configured events. So let's go back to our download page and let's just choose, uh, let's choose, oh, say, let's choose Sage CRM as an event pack. So again, an event pack, a collection of pre-configured events, such as alerts and workflow scenarios. I'm going to say that I wish to open this event pack. We'll save it to a particular location. And uh, that defaults for me. And that event pack has been downloaded. Event packs are very small files, typically five, six, seven hundred K in size. So they are downloaded very, very quickly. And also, you can install them once you've installed the KnowledgeSync application itself simply by executing or double clicking on the downloaded event pack file. Okay, let's go back to my main window. So I have now downloaded, I have installed KnowledgeSync. I have uh, specified where I want KnowledgeSync to be installed, and the installation is complete. Now, just one more thing we're going to do during this training session, and then we're going to wrap this session up. We've got KnowledgeSync installed, and the first thing you need to think about is your KnowledgeSync license code. Now, when KnowledgeSync gets installed, and I'm going to minimize this window, and let's go to our Start menu, uh, there are a number of modules within KnowledgeSync that can be installed. So, in fact, let's just take a look here at uh, our various applications. We're going to scroll to the right here. And you can see Vineyard Soft Knowledge Sync as one of my applications. These are all of the individual components or modules that have been installed. The ones that are used most frequently are, we're going to start off with up at the top, the administrator. That's where a number of initial system configuration steps are done. That's where, where we're going to start today. Uh, and then there are a number of other components. We're just going to touch on a few of them. Your most used knowledge sync man, uh, module, excuse me, where you configure and uh, maintain events, alerts and workflow scenarios. That's done either in the event manager or in the navigator modules. Both of these modules give you access to all event information. The event manager uses uh, a user interface that is more menu driven. The Navigator module provides you with a more graphical based user interface. So it's really up to you which of those two modules you wish to use for setting up and configuring Knowledge Sync events. There is also the monitor, and that's the fourth of Knowledge Sync's four main modules. Again, Administrator, Event Manager, Navigator, and finally the monitor. And the monitor is an online audit trail of what KnowledgeSync has been doing. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. But one last step in this session, and that is to specify our KnowledgeSync license code. We're going to do that in the administrator. Now, by default, when KnowledgeSync is installed, it comes with a single user account, the account called admin, and that account has a blank or, or no password. 
So we get that by default, we can simply click on OK and that will bring us into the administrator module. Note, of course, that you can change those logon settings. You can add additional users. You can add a password to the admin account, or if you really wanted to, even remove the admin uh, user account as a whole. But again, one last step we're going to take here, and that is to enter or verify our KnowledgeSync license code. Now, in fact, you can go into any of the four KnowledgeSync modules I just mentioned, the administrator, the event manager, the navigator, or the monitor to access license code information. I've just decided to use the administrator since it was first on my list. I'm going to go up to the Help menu and click on About KnowledgeSync Administrator. That will bring me to a window from which I can click on a License button. And here I'm able to see my KnowledgeSync license code. Now, if you have downloaded and installed KnowledgeSync for the first time, the application automatically will come with a full function evaluation license code. That license code by default will be good for 30 days, starting on the date you first go into KnowledgeSync. So in fact, if you're trying out KnowledgeSync for yourself, you need make no changes to the default licensing information that comes with the application. If you have purchased KnowledgeSync, you will have received a license code uh, that allows KnowledgeSync to function beyond that initial 30 days. So you should have received an email message with your license code details in it, and you can simply fill out that information in the window you're looking at right now. When you click on OK, KnowledgeSync will go to validate the licensing information that you've just entered. If something is invalid, KnowledgeSync will tell you so. If everything is valid and you hit OK, you will simply come back to the preceding window from which you can click on OK. All right. So at this point, we have KnowledgeSync successfully installed. We've downloaded the application, event packs, and the manual. We have installed first the IM component, followed by the actual KnowledgeSync program itself. We can see that KnowledgeSync has been successfully installed by bringing up the administrator module here. And last but not least, we've entered our license code if, in fact, we've already purchased KnowledgeSync and have received the corresponding code from our supplier. So that ends this initial training session on the KnowledgeSync application. Our next training session will talk about the initial three to four steps you need to take to configure KnowledgeSync so you can begin using the application. And so with that, I'll thank you very much for your time today. Congratulations on successfully downloading and installing the KnowledgeSync Alerts and Workflow application. And I look forward to speaking with you again during another training session. Thanks very much.